Hey guys, welcome back to another Trade It video. Today we're going to be discussing demos, how to download them, how to open them, and how to use them. So let's hop straight into things. You want to open up the game for the first method and then head up to the TV icon up here in the top left. This will bring up your recent matches. If you want to download any particular demo, you've just got to uh, click on it and click on the download button. I've already downloaded this one as you can see by the green tick. So I'm just gonna click on watch to watch this demo. But first, let's see the other method. So if I tab out and head to Steam, click on your activity, go to games, hover on here and click on personal game data. Now you can download all sorts of things such as your premier matches and your rank competitive. Let's just download this demo. We can see I've already got the uh, demo in here and once you've downloaded the file, you're going to want to extract it. I've already done that. So once you've extracted the file, you want to copy it and then put it into the game file. So we're going to open Steam back up, go to our library, manage Counter-Strike 2 by right clicking on it, browse local files, click on game, CSGO and paste the demo in here. That should have added it to the game files. So now, if I open up the console and type play demo, you can see right here, those numbers match it up to the same numbers as earlier. And we can just open up this file by pressing enter. It might take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take too long. And there you go. Now, some things to mention. This long bar here at the bottom is the duration of the game. And you can see where you've got certain things such as kills, and all sorts of stuff like that, as well as the different shades denote where the rounds start and end. You can play or pause using this button down here, and you can toggle playback highlights, skip some time in 15 seconds forwards and backwards, skip the rounds directly down here, and you can adjust the playback speed. You'll see here, it'll tell you what buttons do what. So for example, if I press N, that will toggle X-ray. And another thing to note is the numbers on your keyboard should cycle you through each player from one to zero for all 10 players in the server. Now, you might be thinking, why should I download my demos? Why should I go to this effort? Well, watching your demos can be really useful for improving at the game. By watching your own demos, you can look at what mistakes you're making and what you're doing well so that you can replicate what you're doing well and correct mistakes so that you don't make them in the future. You can also see if you're hitting or missing utility or if there's something that you should have done but you didn't do in the particular demo. You can also look at the enemies and see what information they're playing with and see how they react to certain situations. It's also quite useful to look at pro demos because by looking at pro demos, you can get an idea of how certain situations or rounds should be played out. And you can also learn a lot of utility from pro demos. So in summary, demos are invaluable at getting better at the game and learning. You should definitely put some effort into at least watching your own demos to try and correct your mistakes. But that's gonna be it for today. If you want to learn a little bit more about demos or read into it a bit further, check out the Trade It blog linked below, like and subscribe, but otherwise, see you in the next one.